So when I think about the nervous system, I think about peripheral nervous system and central nervous system. For the peripheral nervous system, one of the least dangerous signs of Sjogren's, but it's common, it's called small fiber neuropathy. So what are the symptoms and how do we diagnose it and how do we treat it as well? With small fiber neuropathy, you can get tingling sensation, a burning sensation, pins and needles, and also you can have heat and cold sensitivity. But your strength will be there and also your reflexes will be normal as well. Your neurologist will most likely do something called an EMG on you where they'll test the nerves and see if there's any nerve changes on exam. And usually there is no changes for small fiber neuropathy on the EMG. And the way to diagnose it is through a biopsy of the nerve. And the treatment is simply targeting and treating the Sjogren's to get it better. You can also have multiple nerves involved called polyneuropathy that can cause issues with balance, with burning pain at night and day. And the balance issues could be mild, but for some, it can be very dangerous because you can't feel where you're walking. You can fall and break bones and have fractures. Another nervous system sign of Sjogren's that I see in my office, autonomic nervous system dysfunction. Your autonomic nervous system comes from the brain and controls the rest of the body, controls how fast your heart rate is, your GI tract, whether you digest and how fast you digest, and it also controls your temperature regulation and also sweating as well. And when you have a nervous system involvement of the autonomic nervous system, you can sweat at random times, feel cold when it's hot, you can feel hot when it's cold, you can have a heart rate issue, and you can have something called this autonomia or POTS, where when you stand up or even when you're lying down, you can get a very fast heart rate and that can be very, very uncomfortable. And I've seen patients have a lot of constipation from the autonomic nervous system dysfunction because the GI tract simply isn't moving the food. And patients, I've seen them pass out as well. Now let's talk about the most dangerous type of nervous system involvement of the peripheral nervous system, and that's called mononeuritis multiplex. And I've seen it in some patients not in Sjogren's, but I've seen it in other autoimmune diseases because you can get sudden pain and also you can get a foot drop or a wrist drop as well because the nerves are damaged from inflammation because you've lost nervous system control of those areas. I know I stress about eating right, anti-inflammatory diet, and holistic treatments to autoimmune diseases and chronic illnesses, but I'll tell you, as a doctor and a rheumatologist, I don't mess around when I see this situation. If you are delaying treatment, the consequences can be irreversible. That's why you wanna treat it and get it treated properly as quickly as possible.